Hello! I wanted to talk to you guys this morning um, while I got ready. So just kind of a get ready and chat kind of thing. Um, something that's been weighing on me lately is um, failure. So failure and the fear of failure. So I'm going to go ahead and put my, my CC cream on. Um, which includes SPF 32, which is amazing. So anyways, um, okay. Are you struggling with, um, you know, just feeling like you're not where you want to be with maybe your new business or with work? Um, or maybe you've just kind of had it on your heart to do something different. Like, um, like recently my friend and I, you know, it was something I had thought about for a long time, wanted to do, but, you know, just didn't know how to start. Starting your own boutique sounds like something, you know, other people can do and be successful at and not me. But um, finally, I've, um, you know, did a lot of research and, and did some thinking and praying and, you know, talking to other people and finally decided, you know what, I'm going to do this. Um... I know it's going to be hard. I knew that. I knew going into it, starting a boutique, it's not going to be overnight overnight success. You know, you got to go through all the legal measures, get your this, get your that, whatever. Um, and then you got to get your inventory. And then you think that um, you start this new boutique and like all your friends and family is just going to be like, that's awesome. Great job. Let me support you and place an order. And that's just not... That's just not how it goes. Uh, and nobody has to do that for you. Nobody has to, you know, feel obligated to buy from you just because you decided to open a boutique. But there's all there's all these things that you think about and you, you know, definitely hope would happen, but it just doesn't. And, you know, it doesn't help that we opened our boutique during, a, you know, this crazy global pandemic. That definitely didn't help. But, you know, we still did it. And I wish I could tell you that um, it's been amazing. It's taken off. It's, you know, I'm so glad I, you know, whatever the, the end is. But truly, the fact is that I'm still figuring out. We're, we've had a few orders under our belt. But, you know, it takes so much more than opening a boutique and telling your family and friends. We have created a Facebook page. We've created an Instagram. We're doing anything and everything we can to be um, on social media and really put ourselves out there. And for that, I feel like that's helping. Um, one thing that's kind of cool is, so we have a Shopify online store. And um, you get to see, you know, how many visitors you had to your store that day. And um, <laughs> whereas before, it was kind of like, you know one or two, you know, and mostly whenever we posted something. Um, I know this sounds small, but I was very excited because yesterday we had 12 visitors. No, we didn't have an order, but 12 people for whatever reason, you know, a post that we made, something, you know, we put ourselves out there again. We had 12 visitors and that's okay that nobody ordered yet, but Maybe they went on there, maybe they saw something they like. I mean, how many times do you um, go to a website, um, you really like something, and for whatever reason, you just don't purchase it at that time, but you remember it, and you go back, and you get it. But um, anyways, all that to say is that might feel like a failure. It might feel, and, and I'll be honest, like sometimes I do feel like I'm failing at starting a boutique, but, um, you know, I saw this video and I'm, I made a pretty short blog post about that if you want to check out my, my blog, but, um, about failure. So this lady said, um, that growing up her dad, instead of talking to the kids around the dinner table about what did you guys, you know, what was great about today? What did, what tell me, you know, your highlight, whatever the good stuff. He was like, tell me about the things that you failed at. Tell me about your failures for that day. You know, and I kind of was like, what? Until she went on to say, um, that was amazing. That was genius because that normalized failure that, that, and at the same time, it encouraged them to try because you know what? I get to talk about it. We, 
failure means you put yourself out there. Failure means you you tried at something and and when you're comfortable, when you you know get in that mindset that failure will happen, but you just keep going, you keep trying, and and that's what gets you to success is failure because you have to try, you have to fail at things to get better at them. And I feel like that's in the stage we're at right now and in our boutique is um, we're learning. We're not failing, we're learning. And I really hope this learning pays off. But um, you know, we're trying different things. We're, um, we're so close to being able to do customized t-shirts, uh, women's graphic tees. And um, you know, we, we got our, our printer, our ink, our heat press, like um, paper. And then I was like, before we got the heat press in, I was all excited. I'm gonna put my printer together. And I'm like, okay, I opened my ink, but there's no cartridge. And cause you know, you have to just buy like, not a regular printer, I mean, it has to be able to convert to the sublimation ink, but um, I didn't have the cartridges. So that's just like one more thing we have to wait on, but that's okay, I should have done all the research and now I know, you know, so um, we're days away from being able to print our own fun, um, starting out with like women's tank tops and t-shirts. Um, but yeah, um, that's like one of those things where we thought the children's clothes, like cute kids clothes would be like no brainer. So good. Like I know for myself, um, I love shopping for my kids. Love it. But we realized, um, you know, maybe we want to try a little bit more. We want to try and have something else to offer our potential customers and, um, you know, women's graphic tees was something that we were pretty excited about. And we've got a lot of, um, participation, engagement in our posts that are around the women's designs, the, the, our, you know, potential designs or whatever. So anyways, we're really hoping, and I'll definitely update you guys that that's what we need to kind of, um, I don't know, feel more complete in our niche of our boutique maybe you know add in our customized graphic tees and um you know just kind of go from there but i feel better and i feel like i want to keep trying and i feel like i feel like i feel like <laughs> that's what i'm trying to get to you is it's so easy and i'm queen of this to um go all in on something and because it's not doing what you expected or what you wanted to give up. And I'm really learning that. I'm learning that all the best things take a lot of work. I mean, all of them, your marriage, your kids, and your potential um, business, you, you know, or just the growth, the success of the business that you finally pull the trigger and, and open and do and, Anyways, um, I'm just, I just really felt like I wanted to share that message with you because maybe you're in a spot where, um, you know, you're unhappy with what you do currently, or maybe you're sitting at home and you would love to make extra money and you don't know how, or, um, maybe you've thought I would love to be my own boss, you know, make my own out, decide what I'm going to do and not have to you know, go off of your eight to five schedule or whatever, or feel guilty for taking off work or, or anything like that. Or maybe like me, you work, but you also want to have this additional income going on. I mean, maybe one day if it just really blows up and just takes up too much of my time, I'll be able to um, focus solely on that. But for now it's, it's extra for me. And, um, and yeah, but to you, of any of those options, I say go for it. I promise you, I've I've sat there and thought this would be really great to do, and then I don't do it. And then a year later, I'm like thinking, imagining where I could be at today if a year ago I would have started. So I know you hear it all the time, especially when it comes to like you know working out, whatever. Just do it. Just. Pull that trigger and do the work. Get down in whatever, the mud, and 
and do it and know that it's only going to make you stronger. It's going to lead to success if you don't give up. And I'm saying that with faith that we're going to do well. And I'm going to keep going and, and we're going to keep going. We're going to keep coming up with plans and deals to offer our customers and you know what like if if you've started your boutique something to start trying and if you're if you feel like you're not doing that well redo some of the things you already have um redo your pictures re kind of lay out your website um create an offer for your customers that's something we're trying right now and i feel like that's what's getting us a little bit of traffic to our store is because um, every couple of days we are doing, you know, this shirt is now on sale and that allows us to highlight that shirt, repost it, even though we feel like we've posted everything that we have, you know, how else do we get this out there without doing the same thing over and over? Highlight one item. And um, so that's kind of what we're doing and offer, keep offering deals. Deals bring people to your website. Deals bring people to want to buy. So that's something you can try. But all that to say, all the creative juices are flowing right now. I know I, I keep starting my mascara and then like stopping and I feel like it's like kind of drying out. But anyways, keep trying, keep going and one day you'll see that it was all worth it. And I will keep telling you guys my progress so that I can prove to you that, because I'm so sure about this, I can prove to you that it's real. Like hard work is what it takes to keep going. Another thing, and what's cool is one reason why I'm so sure of this is because I, I'm also a Stellan Dot ambassador. And um, so I, obviously you know promote and sell Stella and Dot and get commission commission off that and starting out it was like exciting you know you're like you feel like you have this potential to um make money just by sharing something you love sharing the jewelry and whatever it was just jewelry that I was selling at the time and um I had to learn so much about it because starting out you can't just you can't just put it out there and make a group and like post a picture and expect people to buy it no you have to earn the trust of people you have to stick with it and for I feel like a whole year of me trying giving up actually not totally giving up but like giving up on posting because I'm like nobody is buying anything and you cannot give up. You have to think of ways of like, how else can I do this? How else can I highlight something? How else can I um, make this personal? And that's a huge part of it. First of all, I'm just making it personal. But I mean, you really have to try something. Okay, that didn't work. Let me try something else. Let me do some research. Let me talk to people. Let me just whatever you do, don't give up. I feel like a year later, finally, I figured it out for myself and it's different for everyone, but you have to do that. You have to feel, re realize, okay, you know what I haven't done is I haven't gone live in my Facebook group. That is huge. People want to see you. People want to see you wearing it. People want to see why you love it. You, there are a million other companies who sell something similar to what you're trying to sell, but you have to show them why, what you have to offer is um i don't want to say better but why they want what you have you know the highlight you know for us the jewelry is versatile you can wear it different ways or the beauty products are clean they're on the clean standard they're good for you they're you don't have all the harmful chemicals a lot of major other cosmetic companies have and um Oh, earrings they're nickel free allergy free sorry my son's coming I'm gonna have to wrap this up but um you know so there's so many things that you can take the time to highlight differently but you know really putting yourself out there um you know is key people want to yeah. <laughs> people want to yeah. see you people want to know why you're passionate about it but all that to say failure can be a good thing and and truly can be a blessing 
and that's not what you want to hear and nobody wants failure but it really is good for you it it is it makes you grow it makes you learn and um i'm not saying it's a fun place to be in but it's so important and um that's it you're doing a good job keep it up and um if you have any questions or need any help or we you want to support we can create a support group that would be fun um let me know but above all else keep going i haven't even done my eyebrows <laughs> um i i i my i have a lot of siblings but one of my sisters started selling arbon um products and i think it's more than just um beauty products it's um they do like i think i don't remember everything they have sorry i've i've i'm not an expert on arbon but i wanted to try their um tinted brow cream and what's funny is at first i didn't like it look at my eyebrows they have like a like gray undertones and i think i've said that before and so i was always using this other stuff to like really match my eyebrows and that was great but i started to really try to do this okay i'm i'm so basic with my um makeup routine you can you already saw i don't contour i don't know how to do any of that and really i don't have time i have two kids work a full-time job and i'm trying to get all my other side stuff to take off but um anyways so i'm super basic and but i kept on like kind of trying this out and i was like maybe if i try again i'll really like it and i finally do because like kind of before like you can kind of see it's really hard to see like half of my eyebrow that's from over plucking over time you know 10 years ago when it was really cool to have super thin eyebrows and now I'm 31 about to be 32 and I'm like need some fullness and I just don't have it and I just don't want to get microbladed or anything like that but having some darker color on what little eyebrows I have on the side this is really hard to do on the phone instead of a mirror. Um, oh, I overdid it on one side. But anyways, I feel like I actually kind of finally like it. You can tell me what y'all think. If, if it looks good or not, but... <laughs> I'll have to mess with that a little bit, but... Um, anyways, now I just need to brush and style this crazy hair. Um, anyways, for the millionth time, you got this. Okay, keep going. Maybe uh, my I just got a new charm and it's to remind me to, to keep on going. And I love it actually, it says hustle. And maybe hustle and D are not the right charms to have together, but my name is Danielle and I love this necklace and hustle is a really great reminder to, hustle to me is like, you gotta work, okay? You hustle, you work your butt off, you try hard, and you don't give up. So I feel like that's an awesome reminder. If you're interested in buying this charm, it comes out um, seven, on July 15th. Let me know. I'll post my link. But um, girlfriend, having a reminder on you, tattooed, um, charm, bracelet, whatever, I feel like that's awesome to kind of remember uh, I'm doing this today. Okay, I will post more later, more ideas, um, keep you updated. I feel like this will kind of help me to keep going too, um, to post updates. But anyways, y'all have a good one. Bye.